this is Ryan from Harlan's ASMR. So, I'm really hungry. Today, I got some Culver's I've never done on the channel before. I got some, I got the uh, Culver's Deluxe large fry, salted caramel and Oreo, um, concrete mixer, large Coke cereal as well. So, getting pretty close to Halloween. Having like haven't done too many Halloween themed videos, not as many as I would like. But I have recently seen um I gotta open this ketchup packet. I have seen um, Scream recently, so I figured I could talk about that. Oh, but really quick, also, really funny, um, when I was going to go pick this up, and I was, um, when I was picking this up, it didn't have, you know, it's like 7 o'clock. It's supposed to be eight o'clock. Yeah, it's about seven o'clock at night. I'm like seven thirty. They don't have a big line. A few cars, but not a big line. And after I do my order, I go up to the window, and I'm kind of just sitting there, chilling. I'm eating some of this because I don't want it to get too melted. See, there's like three cars ahead of me. They didn't get their order yet, I don't think. Because they were heading out. You know, sometimes, if you've ever been to Culver's, they'll hand you out a little like table thing, like um, with a number on it. Well, they do that, but put it on your car when you're in the drive thru. So I'm like, I think I can give me one of those. Because they gave one to the car ahead of me. And as it turns out, well, not as it turns out, but they keep looking at me in the drive-thru window. And I'm just sitting there like all I've gotten is my drink and my shake. Or ice cream, I guess. And I'm like, a lady comes up and she's like, hey, well, young woman comes up and she's like, hey, um, is there anything else I can get you? And I'm like, yeah, my food. And she's like, oh, okay. And I hear them communicating like, oh, he's 16. He's number 16. I guess I was number 16. And they hand me my bag. Um, I check the front of the bag. I see it. it says Brian on it. Now, I I've, I've been told I say my name weird. Some people even mishear me and, and think I'm saying Brian instead of Ryan. But I think I say my name pretty okay, like pretty clearly. But I checked the order on the outside because it's on the receipt. And I checked the order you know, in the bag, and I'm like, okay, they got it right. And alas, I did get my order. But it was just funny because, you know, they always... People always mistake that I'm saying Brian instead of Ryan. It happened to me at my old phone job a lot. I'd say the name, you know, company name. Thank you for calling company. If there's anything, you know, um, is there anything else I can do to assist you today? And they'd say, 
No, thank you, Brian. You did a really good job. And it popped up in all my reviews a lot. Um, you know, because for your old company, for my old company for the call center, they, you, you know, you can leave reviews for, for you to call. And most of my reviews were really positive. If it was negative, something's out of my control. But they would always say, like, Brian did such a great job. And I'm like, my name is not Brian. Time for the burger. Back to the burger. to the beach, the Myrtle Beach. I, I mentioned it in my Domino's video. Because that was actually, I think, that was the first night I spent there. Because me and my dad drove up there. He left before I did. Because he had to check out. Since he owns the timeshare. shortly up there. I think he left uh, the house around 9.30. I left around 1.30. So. What is that? Like a, like a three hour head start? Something like that. So. from where I live. It's like six hours to drive there. Um, it was a long drive. I was mostly just listening to YouTube, like watching YouTube. Not watching while driving, but you know what I mean, listening to YouTube. a good portion up there. Because, I don't know, I like road trips. When, you know, the end result is something fun. It's like fun driving. I'm not a huge fan of it when it's like, 
drag them to something that's, you know, drag them to something that's like you have to be there, like doctor's appointments or whatever. But even those, I don't, I don't mind too much. Even that I don't mind too much, but it was a good drive. There's just so many crazy people on the road, you gotta be careful. Because I had my energy drinks and I was alert and aware. But there are just some people on the road. They drive like they're the only one on the road. And it's like, it's insane. But I got there. It was me and my dad for the first uh, two days. We were chilling. Um, I basically just got everything because we got there and there's the adjoining room which is the room that I was in, which is the background you saw. And then there was the main side of the timeshare, like hotel or whatever you call it, where they had the master and then a bedroom and then the living room and all that. And since we got there first, you know, cause my brother came up to my brother and his wife and his kid came up. So I got to see my niece and she, and they came up to, uh, to hang out for a few days. Or for a couple days. Okay, there's the one over there. And, uh... So he's like, hey. Pick which room you want. And because of my whole situation, I'm like, well, let me just get, like, the adjoining room. So I don't bother anybody. And plus, I knew I was gonna make video. A video. I like to stay up all night. I like to talk to myself. I'm a bit of a schizophrenic that way. So I'm not gonna do that. With like my dad in the next room. I'm trying to sleep. You know? I get on Discord in like the middle of the night. All the good stuff, you know? Plus, I know that I like to keep late. So if I wanted to get up and make something, I don't want to, I want to have to worry about waking him up in that way as well. I don't worry about that about it as much here. Because the kitchen is for is far away from his bedroom in my room. And also, I try to be quiet. So I don't worry about it too much here. But we're on vacation, you know, I don't want to like, I'm loud, I'm goofy, I don't want to make a bunch of noise. So we take that, so I take that room, and he's like, oh yeah, you hungry? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, okay, well, let's get some pizzas. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bet. And there was a, a deal on Domino's for two larges. So I think he got a pepperoni. And I got a sausage, as you saw. Pretty good first night. Next day we wake up. And, um, was that the day we went and got breakfast? But I think we got up. I also get up pretty late too. And he's like, you know what, let's go and you know, get some lunch or whatever. And so I look up, we go out. And I'm like looking for a place to uh, I'm looking for a place to like, you know, to eat on, on my, I'm 
my phone and I'm like, hey, there's this place. It's like this. I kind of viewed it as a, I don't know, it's like a burger place, but. It seemed kind of interesting. interesting. It was called The Hangout. When me and my dad travel, we kind of have the same mindset where let's explore, let's go places, let's be spontaneous. Pick a spot, we'll check it out type of thing. Which, it's kind of my philosophy. I don't like planning too much. I like having ideas of things to do every day, but I don't like planning that far ahead. It takes the fun out of it a little bit for me. Not really, like, if someone says, hey, like, here's our itinerary, Actually, no, I think that would actually, I, don't know. I think that would take out some of the fun. It's almost like, hey, here's our itinerary. We got to follow it. I like being a bit spontaneous. So we now, we're start navigating to the place called, this place called the Hangout. And the whole time we're driving there, it's taking us through these like, you know, twists and turns. going on back roads, taking like weird back streets through neighborhoods. And I'm like, oh geez, where did I tell us to go? Like, where is this place? And when we finally pull up to it, we then soon realize that it's like a big, like, I don't want to call it a compound. But the hangout is a restaurant with a gift shop. And then there's also a bunch of restaurants in that same like complex area. And there's also um, an aquarium in that same area. So like where the hangout is located is a big touristy type spot. It's not like a, just a restaurant. This is a thing that they do. And I'm looking at the guy. And he goes up there and he says his name. And I'm like, I recognize that name. And that guy looks familiar. But it registered about, I would say about three minutes into the show that I was like, wait a minute. Do I know this guy from Chick-fil-A? And I'm hearing him talk on the microphone. I'm like, that doesn't, I can't remember if that's exactly his voice. I haven't talked to this particular person. I hadn't seen them in like three years. 
So he gets done with this bit, you know, the, it's, the people, you know, he makes people get on their table and like dance and stuff. It's not with the bed. I'm like, oh, it's my boy. And I recognize him. And so we start hanging out. And we start chatting. And I'm like, apparently he left. He took Chick-fil-A to go work there. Some jellyfish 
that we saw. I was just mainly taking a lot of footage of like the surrounding area. I could have taken a video of the actual pier now that I'm thinking about it. But didn't do that. We ended up walking along from one pier to the next pier and then back. And we walked along the beach barefoot, which I was pretty cool. That was the most physically active I've been in a minute. So I was surprised that I was able to do pretty well and like walk that whole distance. I want to say it was like a three mile walk. Or I would say maybe a mile, a mile and a half. Like, you know, something like that. Which for me right now, the physical condition I'm in is kind of impressive. Barefoot on the beach. I'm convinced I've like gained muscle in my legs because of that. So yeah, we walk along, we walk along the beach, and we, um, you know, it's it's just pre it's pretty chill though. The water was hitting her uh, was hitting her legs, and that was pretty cold, so it's kind of funny. But I, by the by midway through the walk, it wasn't really like. It wasn't that cold, the water on your on your feet and whatnot. Um, I took some footage of a airplane landing, mainly just because I saw my brother do it, and I was like, oh, let me see if I can get a cool shot. And so I, um, I got a pretty funny shot of uh, of that uh, airplane landing, or the, of, the, of, the, of the airplane, if I show you guys that video. Um, And yeah, so besides that, what did we do after that? We went to this place called Crab Yikes. Now, I, I really should have gotten more footage of and like video and everything. That's one thing I'm just really bad at. I'm a bad influencer is that I don't get like a lot of the, I don't get a lot of like footage and things like that from places because it's like, I don't know, it, it feels weird to pull out my camera and just start taking pictures of everything and record everything. I feel like weird and awkward, like a cringy tourist, even though that's what I was being. And you know, it would look good for you guys, but um, look good for my channel and everything. But I don't know, I just haven't really, you know, that's not something I've really done. But we went there uh, to this place called Krabby Mangs. It's like this seafood buffet. You can get like a regular plate of food as well. But the strat, okay, the, 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 the strategy is to get like, is to go to the buffet so you can get as much as you want. I would say it was a pretty decent buffet. It was definitely better than like a Golden Corral or something like that. But that's not really saying much if you've ever been to Golden Corral, you know, because a good day at Golden Corral is that you don't get bubble guts, <laughs> you know what I mean? A good day after eating at Golden Corral is that you're not sick afterward. But, um, I mean, it's just your standard buffet. I remember getting some veggies, some sausage, and some, um, they really had these, like, fried, uh, butterfly shrimp and scallops and fried scallops. And I was like, fried scallops, that sounds interesting. And since I'm on my Hell's Kitchen grind, <laughs> which I need to do a video of me just talking about Hell's Kitchen because um, I'm, I'm, I've, I've been binging that show. I've watched like six seasons of the show. Now I started at season 11 and then I worked my way up and I'm at season, basically the ending of season 17 right now. So I've almost watched a full, you know, six seasons of the show going on almost seven seasons of the show being watched in like the last um have basically basically the last month um which isn't super impressive i mean they're, but they're hour-long episodes and there's like 20 episodes a season so you can do the math there i am gonna start binging um i'm gonna start watching one piece as well that is something that i'm gonna start doing i actually maybe i should um have said that i'm gonna title this video scream review because i basically i haven't even reviewed the movie but no, I'm still gonna. I think I should probably still review it. In, it review it in this in this uh, video. But anyways, yeah. So I've watched a lot of Hell's Kitchen. I've been watching a lot of that. So let me know if you want like a Hell's Kitchen related sort of video. I might still do it anyway. 
um, don't have anything any, anything super special for like Halloween planned. I should probably do like a spooky, scary story reading type video and see if I can do that um, and post that sometime this week since like Halloween's Thursday. <laughs> And I'm going to be posting this on Monday, so that doesn't give me a lot of time. But I do have some more um, updates and things that I can talk about in a different video, not necessarily in this one. Um, but what was I on about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we were at Krabby Mike's. And um, they also, the, the steak wasn't that good. <laughs> I will say the steak wasn't that good. And you're like, steak? At a buffet, you want it to be good? Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be good. I got this one weird meat, and it just was like, it was really fatty, and I've been, listen, because I've been watching a lot of Hell's Kitchen, I know what meat's supposed to look like, and the fat was not rendered okay. It was raw. It was raw. <laughs> okay. Um, but besides that, yeah, no, I mean, we did, we went back home, and then I think the next day they left, or was it that day that they left that night? It might have been that night, but, um... No, 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 it wouldn't have been that night. They We spent the night. And, um, that next day... It might have been that night that I went and got... <laughs> excuse me, it might have been... That night that I went and got a Waffle House. Not that, not the night before. No, I think the night before I got, like, Taco Bell or something. I don't know, I was being a degenerate. And that next day... Um, yeah, we got everything. Oh, that's what it was. The next day. Yeah, because I got Waffle House that night. And the next day, they were like, hey, you want to get some, you want to eat breakfast? And I was like, no, nah, I'm not really that hungry. Because, like, you know, I ate Waffle House. <laughs> and, and, um, so we went to the aquarium. And I do have a lot of pictures of the aquarium. And I don't have any video. <laughs> it was really dark anyway. I don't think I could have gotten good video from the aquarium. But I do have a lot of pictures of the aquarium. And if I find a way to import them without them looking like doo-doo, then I'll post them. As I'm talking about it, but they had like a whole bunch of like weird fish and squids and there's an octopus and like, you know, so it, and it was really like dark too. Honestly, if I did video, and now that I'm thinking about it, if I did video myself walking through the aquarium and I did like an ASMR voiceover of that, the neon lights with the dark lighting could have actually been like really relaxing to watch <laughs> almost psychedelic if you if you think about it um so now that i'm thinking about it you know i'm just a bad <clears throat> jesus i'm just a bad like you know what do you call it influencer <laughs> i'm just a bad influencer i'm not very good at it but i will be better i will do better but let me see if I can go ahead and review a uh, scream. Maybe I should get something real quick and then restart the video. Uh, nah, I think I'll be fine. So, the, so scream. If you've ever seen the movie, if you've ever seen Scary Movie 1. If you've ever seen Scary Movie 1, basically the entire premise of Scary Movie 1 is making fun of Scream. Because in the beginning of Scream, it's this, you know, it's this teenage girl, home alone. She picks up the phone, and then there's someone who's, like, on the other end of the phone asking her weird questions. And he's like, do you like scary movies? And, like, that kind of thing, right? Which I didn't realize that's what scary movie got that from, is from Scream. But the entire premise, like, everything pretty much was copied, almost one for one. Uh, because I... Midway, I, I've never seen Scream, but I remember watching, like, towards the end of Scream. I remembered what the twist was, was because I watched Scary Movie, and it's the same twist. Um, but then I think, I forget in Scary Movie if they make fun, how they make fun of it exactly, but... Uh, I forget exactly how they make fun of it, but in Scream, basically, so there's a woman, or a young lady, you know, teenager, who basically is, like, you know, think, thinking she's, like, you know talking to i don't forget i don't know what she's talking feels like she's talking to on the phone but she's like oh when she starts feeling like a little threatened or whatever she's like oh i have a boyfriend but then previously said she didn't have a boyfriend and he's like oh um yeah you know like what i thought you said you didn't have a boyfriend and then she's like well i do have a boyfriend and his name is steve and he's a big 
football player and he's gonna kick your ass and then he's like and she's like go check it and the dude's like on the phone he's like go check out the porch the front porch and steve is all tied up and then he has her it's meant to be goofy right because like he's making her answer halloween related questions in order to save her boyfriend's life um and then he because because throughout the entire phone call they're asking about like he's asking about um uh, like halloween themes and movies and shit and um then uh, one of the questions that she gets that that he asks her is like who was the killer in friday the 13th and then she's like oh, it was jason it was jason and then reflectively i'm like no it was the mother as i'm watching it because i've seen friday the 13th <laughs> and it's the mo it's jason's mother who was the killer and you know I haven't seen any of the sequels, but I'm, I plan on it, okay? I plan on watching the sequels. Um, and they're like, yeah, uh, he's like, no, it was actually, it was his mother. And uh, Jason didn't actually return until, the, he didn't actually get seen until the sequel. And then so he kills her. Or he doesn't kill her. Well, he does kill her, but he ends up killing the boyfriend. Um, because she got the answers to the questions wrong. Uh, she was making earlier in, in the in the beginning scene. You saw her making Jiffy Pop. Um, that gets set on fire. She's like running frantic around the house. Um, bro breaks in, basically, and then he like runs around to like kill her, <laughs> and he does end up killing her, and then he hangs her from a tree. Um, and, but the but the, the parents get home and they don't realize that like she was. They realize like the house is all torn up and messed up. Um, and then they notice that she's, like, hanging from a tree. Because um, they're like, oh, let's leave, call the cops, and then they'll come and they'll sort all this out because they know something's wrong, like, what happened to our daughter? Um, so what happened is, like, the dude, and, he, and also the dude, the killer, is in this, like, if you've never seen it, I think I'm assuming you've all seen it. I'm, like, I'm going to kind of, like, speed run it a little bit and just talk about some parts that I thought were funny. Overall, if you want to know my, my rating, Follow my letterbox if you want to know, like, what I think about all the movies I've seen. Um, letterbox is in the description. But, <laughs> but it's, you know, and it's letterboxed. Like, le you know, letterboxed.com slash Lakota if you actually want to just, you know, go look it up. But yeah, it's, um, the killer is in this, like, black cloak type thing with gloves on and then he's and then uh with a with a ghost mask so they call him like ghost face i'm sure you've seen the ghost face stuff on tiktok and i'm sure you've seen like the the gender ben cosplay is just like i have and you've seen that all the stuff around it that's where that comes from i think and so those two get murdered and then the, it's like just do another character um, and then she's going through school and like, uh, th there's like a bunch of, you know, news fans and just people who like are covering this. Oh, it's like a crazy massacre and whatever. And also Courtney Cox is in this movie, which I don't know how far friends, I don't know if she did this after friends or during, probably during friends. But seeing Courtney Cox in this movie made me realize, I'm like, damn. Like, I just wish Courtney Cox didn't do what she did with Botox. But, you know, who am I to say? But, yeah, she, in, in Scream, she's kind of like, she's, she's like the cringy reporter, which is fine. And I don't think her acting is necessarily bad. But the writing of the whole movie, like, Scream's just kind of like a, a funny slasher, like, kind of a, uh, a time waster film like if you just want to waste like and i say waste but if you want to entertain your be mildly entertained for two hours um then i would say watch scream so the girl goes through um and they're kind of like investigating and talking to different people like the, the police and whatnot but the girl's like apparently her mom suffered from something it's almost like the eve of her mom's murder. Like, apparently this all happened a year ago where her mom was killed. And, um, basically you find out that, like, because she's like, oh, you know, with all the news fans and everything, this is like a flat, you know, this is like, um, 
this is all like deja vu and whatever. And the news reporter basically reported on that last year, and then she apparently wrote a book about it, so then these two girls have beef. Um, but that is like something that you find out like in the in a few minutes in, they end up going to some kind of, they set it up to where they go to some kind of party. Um, I'm missing details. No, 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 I'm not skipping. Yeah, I'm skipping details. Because like, this main girl, and I can see how someone, <laughs> never mind. But this main girl, she has a boyfriend. And she's hesitant to sleep with the boyfriend, with said boyfriend. Ah. Uh, and then, because basically, like, right after the beginning scene happens, you see that, like, this boyfriend sneaks into her room. Um, but then he, like, sneakfully, like, sneaks out of the, well, he sneaks into the room. But it's, like, apparently short, um, right before, like, her, her dad apparently is going on some kind of business trip. And then she's like, oh, you can't, like, sneak in here and whatever. And then he's like, oh, no, I'm not going to do, like, like, oh, yeah, I would never take it that far. I just want to do some, like, over the, some over the clothes hand stuff. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, but as if it ever just stops with that. <laughs> and so they do that, like a brief scene, and then they leave. Then do they go to the school and that happens? I think so. Then they go to the school. Um, I watched this a couple nights ago, y'all. But anyways, then I think they end up going to the school. Uh, and and then you know, it also it has Matthew Lillard in this film. You know, you know, like like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, from these Scooby Doo movies. And I'm like, he's actually like a really good actor. I need to see more movies with him in it because he was good. He was a good actor in this film, and he was funny, and he had the same sort of like. Matthew Lillard energy that he brings to Shaggy, but he like had it in this film, but it's not like the same character. Like I didn't watch him and go, wow, that's Shaggy. Like, no, I actually like was watching him and go, I mean, in my head, intellectually, I was like, oh yeah, that's Shaggy. But then like watching him do the character, I'm like, oh, that's like the character. It's not just, you know, because sometimes you can't, it's like when Tony Stark does any, it's like when, when Robert Downey Jr. does anything, you're like, oh, that's Tony Stark. But you know, you can see him in different roles too, kind of like that. But anyways, so yeah, Matthew Lillard's in it, and a bunch of murders happen. I'm kind of just going to skip to the end on this one, because remembering all of the details in between is not going to be very smooth, because normally if I watch a movie and it's fresh in my mind, and I like am slowly recalling it as I'm telling you guys the story, it's easy for me to do that. Um, but this I watched like two nights ago, and... <laughs> recalling it is uh is whatever basically you find out that like the boyfriend the killers were really because you think at some point you think it's the dad because the dad wasn't at the hotel that he said he was going to and then um you know he wasn't like uh you the, the calls were made from his phone so you're thinking the dad's the murderer um but you find out and then she at one point thinks it's the boyfriend before that they think it's the boyfriend but all of his alibis work out, check out, so they let him go. But then you find out later on that it is the boyfriend. And then because you find out that it is the boyfriend, you're like, well, it's the boyfriend and Matthew Lillard's character, I forget his name. And that's like the big thing, big shock to the whole movie or whatever. And like everything's about the movie's fine. I don't know. It's just an older slasher film. I don't know what brand of horror is my favorite yet because... Some psych, some psychological horrors are good. Some psychological horrors are really, really bad. A lot of thrillers are just a lot of suspense thrillers that have like a horror element. I like some of those, but a lot of like the suspense horror is just not good to me. It is like, like uh, I'm pretty sure Sinister is one of those where it's like it's suspense horror. Like you're meant to have this like aura and this eeriness that you're supposed to be like really you know, averse to, but for me, it, it doesn't do that, it doesn't do that, like, thing that everyone, it says it does to everyone else, where it's, like, really creepy and really scary, and everyone enjoys it, my favorite films so far are ones that are, like, scary, 
like the concept is scary or like the what's happening is suspenseful but there's a lot of like humor built into it that makes me laugh because i think it doesn't have to be on it all of it doesn't have to be unhinged and crazy and whatever like like that but a lot of it for me at least does have to be like interesting and keep my attention either it has to be fully serious and try to scare the fuck out of me and like actually get me to be like viscerally scared or it has to be like not that serious but kind of suspenseful in such a way that like keeps my attention the whole way through and has a little bit of humor built into it like if you've ever seen 10 cloverfield lane that's a movie that keeps my attention all the way through if they make if it's a scary version of that i'll probably like it but if it's not that and they try to do this whole like really too artsy scary thing like the witch the witch is terrible <laughs> that's what i felt like the witch was where it, it does this thing where it's trying to be like really um kind of artsy and like horrific and kind of weird but it doesn't go anywhere um there's another movie i recently watched where i felt like that wasn't a thing um the watchers i did not like that at all i mean it, it like the suspense and that's those are examples of like i think they're trying to build this like really creepy suspense um, and it just doesn't end up going anywhere that I feel is, like, worthy of a payoff. Because I'm all about, um, like, if you build up to something, there needs to be a payoff. One, one redeeming quality about, um, Hereditary is that the entire movie, it does that exact thing I'm talking about where it's, like, really, really, you know, suspenseful. And you're, like, you don't really know what's going on. It's really artsy. And you're, like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then there's a huge payoff at the end. But the 20 minute payoff, my complaint is that the 20 minute payoff at the end isn't worth the hour and a half they put you through of like kind of boring shit. <laughs> like where, you know, the, the, the daughter walks off into the field randomly or she like cuts the bird's head off, like that kind of thing. It's like, ooh, this is weird, what's going on? But then like, and then the kid feeling like really guilty over killing his sister, well, getting his sister killed that's really good but then like y you know the weird like just a bit you know okay i understand like yeah she's at the dinner table yelling at him and whatever but it's like all of that is good but like it was putting me to sleep some parts of it were so slow that it was putting me to sleep that it, i don't feel like the payoff which should have been the like last half hour of the movie to the anywhere between the last like hour to 45 minutes it's really the last 15 20 minutes of the film the last 15 to 20 minutes of the film where she's like climbing on the fucking wall and she's hanging from the ceiling and she's fucking like doing crazy schizophrenic stuff and where she's doing this scene where she's doing this shit like that stuff should have been the half the latter half of the movie <laughs> for hereditary specifically it should have been it should have been like 45 minutes of build up and i would have accepted that 10 to 15 minutes of like you know getting to the point where you're trying to reach like oh like you're, you're building to that point and then the last hour is all that now i know that like it would be hard i guess it would be hard to do that but like the last hour of it being that would have been amazing. I would have rated that movie like a 5 out of 5 if it did that. Because that was genuinely fucking scary. But the thing about it is it's only scary at the end. And then it stops being scary because it's like, oh, King Paimon. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's like and, and it's like the reveal being a cult thing. I'm like... <laughs> so, I don't know. You know what I should do a tier list of? Because I know, I know my buddy... And I've been, I've been trying, I've been brainstorming a tier list video for like four months for this guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a tier list of like my favorite horror genres, like my favorite favorite horror sub sub genres and my least favorite horror sub genres. Cause there's like vampire, there's occult, there's like suspense shit. I, I have to look up the sub genres, but I know there's like, I know there's like occult is one of them. And I know vampire is one of them, but we'll look into that. Oh, looky there, I've been talking for 52 minutes. Well, probably a little bit less on your end because I'm probably going to cut some stuff out. But anyways, guys, 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great spooky season. Um, have a great Halloween. I'm going to try and post a few more videos here and there um, throughout this week. But then also I'm going to have to really make a lot of videos because I have a surgery next month. And I'll tell you guys about that probably in my next video. And I want to make sure I have enough content so that you guys aren't waiting on stuff from me while I'm recovering from whatever. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.